you can hear me now. Yes, you can. <laughs> Sorry about that. How is everyone today? Oh my gosh, you can hear me now. You can hear me now. OMG. Sorry about that. How is everyone? Oh my gosh. Is everyone behaving today? Let's see. Let's see. I see Miss Joni Thurman is in the house. Let me move this over so I can see everyone. Sincere Jam Rock. Hello from Oklahoma. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, Latasha. Hi. Jody S says hello. Hello to you as well. Simply Jewel. Well, hello. How are you? Thank you for joining me this evening. Patty O, Shonda Coleman from Arkansas, all the way from Arkansas. You're joining us this evening. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And let us see Miss Pearl Lucas, Carol Coleman, always a favorite to have you in here with us. Crafty Shark. Crafty Carlene? Is it Carlene or is it Charlene? Welcome. Either way, I don't recall seeing your name. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Sheila Chan, a favorite as well. Simply Jewel. Leo Nelson, another regular. Thank you all so very much. We have LaSharika Jackson. Well, hey, girl. How is you this evening? Good evening to you as well. <laughs> My husband is in here with us this evening. He joined us. That's so sweet. <laughs> Jody S. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us from Virginia, all the way from up there. Not too far away from me. That's a good thing. <laughs> Wanda says hello. So Crafty says hello. Sheila Chen. Thank you. I appreciate you and Joni letting me know that the audio was trash. My bad. Simply Jewel says yes. Carol Coleman, mom of two cute boys from Idaho. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Let me move this over so I can see better. Um, La Sharika says, how do I embroider a short sleeve without sewing the sleeves together? Girlfriend, you got to hold your mouth right. You got to hold your mouth right. I know that was not the answer you was waiting on, was it? <laughs> um, there's a little bit of a trick to it. And what we call that is floating. Well, yeah, you say a shirt sleeve. So it depends on how big the sleeve is like this. You can lay it open and float it. But if you're talking about a long sleeve shirt, that takes a special hoop to be able to do that. Or you can be bold and take the sleeve apart. All right. That's one way I ended up having to do a long sleeve shirt. I just tore the seams going up the inside of the arm to lay it flat open and then sewed it back shut after I was done. Of course, you charge extra for that, my dear. So make sure. You let the customer know what you got to go through in order to get that embroidery on the sleeve, all right? Carol Coleman says she's doing fine. Diana Henderson says, hello, Viola from Tejas. Welcome, thank you. Latasha says, look like I'm feeling better. In a way, I am. My throat is a little sore and it's been getting a little more sore over the last couple of days. I'm not too cool with that. I don't know what's going on, but we'll deal with that later but yes i am feeling better otherwise thank you <laughs> connie bedell says love your videos thank you i appreciate that very very much and i appreciate you being here joining us this evening miss social dale hello to you as well shamir green from michigan hello welcome haven't seen your name before thank you for joining us miss debbie hey debbie from ohio hello hello <laughs> Just So Boutique by Nina. Hello, hello. Good to be back. Oh my gosh, girl. Glad you kicked that bronchitis because that is not fun. Sharon Sparks from Indiana. Hello, Barbara Nance. Another regular favorite. How are you? How are you? Ronnie's Reps. Hello. Dorothy Gaston says hello to the hashtag hoop group. So throw up a hashtag hoop group if you are a member of the hoop group this evening. And if not, the link is below right there. Join our hoop group at thebabiesbooty.com. We would love to have you there. If you are an embroiderer or some type of crafter that deals with in and around embroidery, uh, you're more than welcome to join the group and gain tips, insights, uh, interact with others who like to do embroidery as well, share pictures of your projects. We'd love to see them. Join right on up. It's free of charge. I don't charge anybody for that. 
Um, let us see. Simply Jules laughing. Ha ha. I know, right? I got a lot going on right now. Norma, hello. Managed to catch me this time from England. Well, hello. Thank you for joining us from way overseas. I really appreciate an overseas viewer. Thank you very, very much. Love having you, my dear. <laughs> Nancy Fowl says hello from Iowa. Debbie Kid, hi love, how are you? Welcome, thank you for joining us this evening. Emily Galloway says hello, little Miss Booty. Hello, my dear, how are you? I've enjoyed your projects you've been working on lately. Love seeing them. Um, Joni Thurman says, Eve in a hoop group, I'm needing an example of a contract, a contract, okay? So contracts are pretty uh, intense, right? There's a whole lot that you have to cover when it comes to doing contracts, right? So what that would probably entail is something written that you can actually see one spelled out. I know Candia Hainsworth also has a YouTube channel. She discusses contracts and things of that magnitude on her channel as well. Check her out. Otherwise, we'll see about getting an example of a contract to put in the hoop group, all right? But you definitely want to make sure that they know your time frame is spelled out in your contract. You want to make sure that there's no refunds if you feel that's necessary in your contract. So you let them know, okay, we'll exchange, but we won't do a refund, all right? Because you have to understand when you're doing a custom item for these people and they back out and they're like, ooh, I don't like it, I want my money back. Okay, well, let's fix it for you because this is a custom item. I'm not gonna be able to just sell something that I've embroidered on exclusively for you, all right? So that's something you definitely wanna consider having spelled out in your contract. Um, let's see, we said time frame, we said um, refunds, your pricing should be in there. Um, let's see what else delivery options should be in there, whether you're going to mail it, whether they're going to, uh, pick it up, be able to pick it up the time frames that they can pick it up. I mean, there's a whole lot. You could have an extensive contract or you could have something just a little simple blurb of this, that, or the third. So that's pretty intense. And that's definitely a subject for a future video. Um, that would probably need to be dedicated exclusively to that because that's just pretty much how heavy that is. Um, and especially being that it's a legally binding contract, you want to make sure that it's worded properly as well. So what we'll do, meanwhile, I'll refer you to some videos by Candia, uh, but that's something that we'll have to address more in detail in the future or get a couple of examples and post it in the Hoop group next week, okay? Thank you for that question, though. That's a very, very good question. Um, Let's see what we got here. Kim Smith says, Hi, Eve. Is there a way to make sure words using So What Pro are straight? Well, yes, there is, Miss Kim. Um, the So What Pro does have a graph um, built into the program. So I pretty much have a tendency to line up my wording with the lines on the graph. And then once I see that they're all straight and lined up, then I move them wherever, by, by the group of letters, I'll move them wherever it's supposed to be. That's one of the main ways I make sure that they're straight. Um, another thing you could do if you don't have the graph handy or don't want to is just put a box there. i um, pretty sure there's a way to put a box up. I can't pull it up right now without the concern of messing up my live stream because I'll lag out if I do too much on my computer. So right now I'm not going to be able to show that, but that first and foremost using the graph is mainly the way I make sure that my wording is straight in so what pro. Jenny McKinney. Hello, love. How are you? Thank you for joining us this evening, this evening, Barbara dance. Thank you. I appreciate that very, very much wishing me well and glad to see that I'm doing better. Latoya Shaw says, hello, Rachel Wakewa says, hello. Well, hello to you as well. Don't recall your name either. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this evening. Miss Amber says, new to embroidery. Your videos are so helpful. Thanks. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you're here. Please stick around. We love having you. Meanwhile, for those who are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. 
We do offer helpful videos like this live that we do on Sundays at 8 p.m. We also occasionally put videos up. I need to do better with getting those out on a more regular basis, but we've been pretty busy around here lately. But we put videos out that are helpful with tutorials. Um, so please subscribe. Also, if you enjoy the videos, please hit that like button. I would definitely appreciate that. That lets YouTube know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And it also lets me know that you guys do enjoy the content. And I do definitely appreciate that. Thank you in advance for those who choose to do so. River City Creative says, hello. Hello to you as well. Hello, Justin. He is in the house as well this evening. Thank you, Justin. Joanne Reeves says, hello, it's a pleasure to see you again and always love having you in our chat. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Barbara Raymond says, hello, everyone from Nolan. Savannah, her 16-month-old grandbaby, Miss Savannah, is watching too. So, hey, Savannah, how are you, little girl? Thank you for joining us with your grandma. <laughs> That's always awesome to have the grandbabies hanging out with you, isn't it? <laughs> um... Debbie D also reminded folks to hit that like button. Thank you very much. Joni Thurman says, thank you so much. If anyone is willing to share a contract, please send it. And she has her email address right there if you do have one. Joanne Reeves says she's from Macon, Georgia. Welcome. Thank you for joining us from Georgia. Not too far from me. <laughs> Little Sharika says, thanks for the information. And well, you're just starting out. Awesome. And you've got the PE 800. So I'm getting it together so far. Starting out, you are my, whoa, girl, not no idols around here. All the mistakes we make. <laughs> you might want to find somebody, <laughs> find somebody else that don't mess up as much as I do. But thank you. I do definitely appreciate that. Any help that you need, please just shoot it either in the comments or send me an email or better yet, join in with the hoop group and you're more than welcome to request assistance there, right? And we're here to help make sure that you have happy embroidering, right? So thank you for joining us. Shamina says, hello, Eve. Hey, darling, how are you? Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, she says that she missed us last Sunday. I have a couple of inquiries in regards to the classes. Will supplies be provided or will we have to purchase supplies for all classes? All right. So Shamina is asking about the cruise, all right? So we have a crafting cruise coming up in May of next year, May of 2020. So if you're not familiar with that, um, join in on the Hoop Group. There's a link there. And I'll also be sure to post a link later on in our show this evening where you can go and get more information about the cruise, all right? So it is open to anyone who is a crafter and would like to join, all right? So there's going to be quite a few classes. Of course, I don't have the list right here with me. Um, actually, I do. It's on my phone. Uh, we're going to have embroidery classes. Hold on. Let me get to my gallery so that I can see um, the list. All right, here we go. So we have starting a business. We have a teacher for that. We're going to have a teacher for, oh, an awesome instructor for Silhouette and the Brother Scanning Cut. We're going to have classes for that, which includes vinyl in those classes. Uh, we have a Cricut class, which also includes vinyl. Uh, we're going to have a Rhinestone class, so that's going to be on board. We have So What Pro classes. We're going to have a quilt. We should be having a quilting class. I'll have to check on that. We're also going to have a soap making class. Um, and the only other class that was requested, which I haven't confirmed whether or not we'll be able to do that yet, is a jewelry class, all right? So jewelry might be on our ship list of classes as well, all right? So if you're interested, you have until May the 4th, all right? May the 4th to lock in the price of the ship with only $25, you guys, all right? You can't, I mean, that was a concern that someone pointed out to me. She was like, oh my God, but it's it's way in May next year, over a year. I could put down my deposit and then I'll lose it. What if I can't, what if I can't sell? Something happens, something comes up. Your deposit is $25, you know? We spend that on Chick-fil-A. I know I do anyway. So 
from May the 4th, which you have from now till May the 4th to put down the $25. So from May 4th to January, you have time before your first full deposit is due, all right? So you have plenty of time. And then by January to give you a better idea of whether or not you will officially be able to sell, all right? Otherwise, you do also still have travel insurance that is available for you. So if something comes up and you can't travel, you're not completely busted out of your money, all right, you guys? So I want to let you know that those who register by May 4th will have a special package waiting on them on the ship from me directly so ooh, you might want to go ahead and lock that in because if you don't have that locked in with that 25 dollars deposit i'm not going to be able to hook you up all right so please go ahead and get your cabins and stuff done i need to uh have a good idea of how many folks is going to be on this trip so that we can make sure that carnival is aware that we are going to show up and show out all right so please if you haven't already and spread the word to your other crafty friends we are having this wide open for crafters and we're excited for any and all who is willing to sell with us you don't have to bring a thing all right you don't have to bring anything whatsoever we are uh we actually have a sponsor for the vinyl and some machines to use cutters as well as embroidery machines, which is really cool. I'm super, super, super stoked about this whole thing. So you guys, please check out this cruise. Spread the word far and wide because we are going to sail and have a ball, all right? So we will be um, sailing uh, May 18th, 2020 from Port Canaveral, Florida, and we will be sailing to the Bahamas. It is a four-night cruise, all right? So definitely reach out. Um, and join up with that because I am going to have a ball and I would love to have each and every one of you there with us. All right. So Shamina, you don't have to supply anything for those classes. You don't. So look forward to having you in our uh, roster on the ship. Kim Smith says, thanks. You're welcome. And Marie says, hi from the UK. We have another um, visitor in from UK. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Miss Eartha Lewis. Hey, love. How are you? Thank you for joining us this evening. Simply Jewel says, when are the next classes? I live outside of Savannah and would love to attend. Um, so I actually don't give classes as far as set classes. Now there have been some retreats that I'm working with another uh, one of the teachers actually on the ship because we're going to do a retreat before and possibly after the cruise in Florida. So look forward to getting the word out about that. Um, so me personally, I haven't done retreats yet. <laughs> okay. But we're trying to get all of that work done. I think the cruise kind of like overshadowed that. I was like, forget a retreat. We just going to come together and cruise. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. And I'll let you know if we do have classes. Otherwise, I do travel for private classes, but not, um, I don't have like a set schedule where we'll be going and doing classes as of yet, unfortunately. We were working on it, but I kind of put a hold on it to get this cruise up and going. Cornelia, hi, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Linda Sneed says, hello from Tacoma, Washington. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Barbara Felder from New Jersey. Hello, thank you for joining us. Uh, Jane Sublet says, hi, you finally made it on time. You're watching March Madness. <laughs> well, you enjoy the ball game, my dear. I was watching it a little bit, not by choice, but I did see a little bit of it yesterday while we were out to eat. Vivian Crosby says, hello, everyone. Hello to you as well. Dorothy Gaston says she paid her deposit and can't wait. Well, I'm excited and I can't wait either because my funds are there. My cabin is locked in and I'm ready to sail now. <laughs> Chris says, I wish I could go, but save it for a mission trip. Okay, well, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, the mission trip is very important. So thank you for letting me know that you won't be able to make it, but guess what? We'll save a spot for you the next time, all right? Because we hope this is going to be an annual occurrence, you guys. 
if y'all show up and make it as popping as I think it's going to be, then we will definitely have a repeat the following year in 2021. Mary Stobel says, hello, hello to you as well. Miss Mary Stobel, Kingsbury Craft says, I'm late, but I'm here. Hello, even the Hoop Group. Well, hello to you too, as always. Danny McKinney says, yeah, I'm happy to say your sister and you are uh, have done your deposit and ready to meet us all. Well, we're excited to meet you too. I'm excited. Emily Galloway, the cruise right now for the life of me i cannot think of the price i want to say it's 380 to 400 something like that is the low end price all right so definitely check the links that i have up in the hoop group um and once you go in there you'll be able to see the prices and the stuff for the cruise it is available now where you can see that chris says the cruise is on his bucket list all right well sweet we'll def well chris are you a female? I'm not calling you a male, am I? I apologize if I am. I just now saw this beautiful picture. I love the picture, by the way, profile picture. So I want to make sure I'm saying that right. Please forgive me if, I, if I'm if i saying that wrong. Simply Jewel says, thanks. Patrick says, hello. Patrick Quinlan, hello there. How are you this evening? And Deborah Bemleder, Deborah B has joined us this evening. Y'all, my throat is killing me and I'm messing up names left and right. <laughs> So I'm excited about what we have to talk about tonight. It's 8.20, ending right about the same time you're, you're she, okay, thank you. Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mess up. <laughs> well, thank you, Chris, and definitely look forward to seeing you in 2021 for the cruise, right? So we're going to bucket list and do fun crafts at the same time, right? Make the cruise worth it, definitely. Um, you guys, I want to let you know that there's a really good friend of mine who, uh, she also has a channel, but it's on Facebook and she teaches sewing and she shows embroidery. I'm sorry, rather. And she has a multi needle just like myself and some single needles. And she goes live on Sundays at 5 PM on Facebook and stitches out projects on her embroidery machine. Her name is Alexis Galloway. Okay. And the name of her uh, Facebook page is So Sweet to Learn, I believe is what it's called. And she just so happened, I'm in her group as well. And she happened to mention something about apps on the phone for embroidery. And I was like, wait a minute, I've never heard of that. And she was like, has anybody heard of it? Hello, Miss Ethel Smith. How are you? <laughs> and she says, has anyone ever heard of that? So immediately my interest was piqued. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to check that out. And you guys, I am shocked to say I have found three apps that are available that are pretty, pretty decent. One eh, is a iffy and I'll show you why. But the other two are excellent embroidery apps that you can add to your phone uh, and Android anyway, in my case. But if I'm not mistaken, these are available on uh, Apple as well that you can use to look at embroidery designs and files on your phone. And some, one app in particular, you can even change the file to the file extension that you use with your machine, right? How cool is that? So you can save it on your phone, possibly email it to yourself, and then put it on your, your embroidery machine. So I thought that was really cool, and I'm excited to share that with you guys this evening. It's not a... a um, it's not a thing where I'm affiliate with it and I get kicked back or anything like that. That's not the case. In this instance, it's just some three apps that I came across and I was like, that's pretty cool. It's really neat to be able to share this information with you guys, just in case you're interested. And I thought it was pretty cool, all right? So again, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. And hit the thumbs up, the like button, if you don't mind. I definitely appreciate it. So, you guys, without any further delay, what we'll do is go ahead and get into our um, looking at these apps on the phone. So, let's see. Let me clear this out. I try to make sure, because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I'm sharing my phone right now. And I'm going to pull it up where you can see the screen on my phone on the computer. But the thing is, I know that nine times out of 10, 
someone is going to call me or text me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I don't need y'all to do that right now. So let me see if this is going to work because I don't see it right here. So give me one sec. Let's switch this over. It's showing up. Cool. All right, you guys. So let's go to the Play Store. And when we go to the Play Store, we have three different apps. And what I did was I typed in Stitch Buddy on my um, Play Store. And it pulls up three different apps, okay? So the three different apps that it pulls up, and let me see if I can't get this to work too. We have Stitch Pro, which is right here. And then we have Stitch Viewer Pro, which is right here. And then we have Embroidery Viewer, which is right here. And as you can see, I've already installed all three of them so that you can see them while we're online. And I do have the links in the description below for you to see whenever you are ready to give these a try, okay? So for right now, we're just going to show um, each one of these programs since I already have them installed. All right, so let me back that out. And here, let's go to Embroidery Viewer, which this one was like the simplest of the three that I came across. There's not a whole lot of fluff with this particular program. So here you see when you open it up, it's a blue screen, not much to it, okay? So we'll come here and we'll click Open File. And if you say, for instance, purchase an embroidery design from a website and you download it to your phone, or like in this instance here, um, this particular file I had digitized for me um, by a digitizer and I asked him uh, to send it to me and I just downloaded it to the phone, not really thinking. And I realized I couldn't even see the design. Well, now I can. So I'm gonna touch that file and as you see, it pops right up. Here is the embroidery design that I had digitized, right? So it's really cool. It shows up very clear. Uh, I believe this version is DST, so the colors are completely wrong. But it's cool that you can actually see an embroidery file on your phone now, right? So we're gonna go back up here to the top right-hand corner and you see where it says statistics. So we'll click that and look what it shows. The information it gives you is it shows the number of stitch entries, 10,000 stitches. So that's cool. So if you're trying to quote a customer on the fly and you're not near your computer, you can pull up an embroidery design and tell a customer if you're like me and you base your price on stitch count, well, you can look and you'll say, okay, well, the stitch count here is 10,357. So if you base it like myself, a dollar per thousand, so that's definitely going to be a $10 design, right? So that's pretty cool. And then as you see even further, there's five uh, color stops. So that's pretty neat to see. It tells you that. It also tells you the size. But the problem with this uh, program that I found, it's showing it in millimeters. So if, you, if you're not good with inches versus millimeters, then that's gonna be a little bit of a problem, but otherwise it's okay, right? So that's pretty cool that it shows all of this information about the design and it even shows the design, right? So you just touch anywhere on the screen and that goes away. And what we'll do is go up to the upper left-hand corner um, up here where it shows, let's see, let me get my pen back. Right up here is where we're going to click now. So that shows the different colors that are in the embroidery design. How cool is that, right? And each individual amount of stitches per color. So that's neat. It lets you know what's going on with the embroidery design before you even get it to your computer to, or to your embroidery machine to stitch it out. So this is a handy little program, the embroidery viewer is, that lets you know what you have going on 
before you even get it to the machine. Again, as I just said, it it's beneficial in a pinch, right? If you just want something really simple, this program was free. That particular one, Embroidery Viewer, was free. I hadn't paid anything and it gave me that little bit of information, which is just enough to allow me to quote a customer, tell a customer if it's too many stitches or if it's going to fit, looking at the size, looking at the colors, so I'll know how many different colors, spools of thread I need, all that jazz is right there. And I thought that was really nifty for a cell phone program, right? How cool is that? So what we'll do is check another program that I thought was really cool as well. So we'll back out of that and go to uh, the other embroidery program, okay? So this time we are going to look at Stitch Viewer Pro. And let me make sure the thing is working like it's supposed to. Flipping back and forth is an interesting concept with this thing. All right, so all right, I'm having technical difficulties. Give me a sec. Let me try and get this right. So does anybody have any questions about that particular app actually? Please let me know if you do or if you don't have any issues with that. Free of charge, really cool. Um yeah, Justin, I thought that was pretty neat myself, actually, to be able to um, look at embroidery designs on your phone. Because some, a lot of folks don't realize that they can get so a pro to look at their embroidery designs on their computer. And Stitch, um, not, uh, not Stitch, but So Icons lets you see the thumbnails of it. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you the stitches too. But if they don't know that, then they won't know that they can do that all right so now let's go back again i'm learning technology and stuff y'all it's crazy that all the stuff that i can do with this darn phone all right so let's see if it's going to show up this time and it's looked like it's not i probably should have left well enough alone so that y'all could have seen this dang other thing let me see let me see Oh, you know what? We can do this. Let's see if this works. No. No. Okay. I use Android box with your TV. Okay. So that is cool. Kingsbury Crabs. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you can use it with your television. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you should be able to anyways. And now this ain't won't no, let me, okay. All right, y'all, this ain't won't act right. But I did show you one. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, it's always something that's going to mess up with me. And I knew it was going to do it. I just didn't know when. All right, so let's see if this works. Because the other one, now one of the programs, the Stitch Pro, that one I thought was interesting and I did have a little bit of a story I was going to tell y'all about that one. The Stitch Pro, it actually links to an embroidery machine directly, which I thought was pretty interesting because I went to look for that embroidery machine um, and the local, um, the local shop that supposedly carried that machine the machine wasn't there. They stopped selling it. So then I was like, okay, well, if it's not there, how am I going to get it? And then how do you em send it from the app to the embroidery machine if that's the only way to get it to work? And so that's why I was like, that's pretty neat. Uh, but they only had the sewing machine version of the embroidery file, which kind of was tragic a little bit in my opinion. Um, and 
they weren't going to carry it anymore so i'd have to find it and for the life of me i can't remember the name of the, the embroidery machine but i had never heard of it before so that's pretty cool there are embroidery machines out there that are wi-fi enabled that you could actually forward the design from your phone directly to the embroidery machine so that was neat to find out now what the name of the machine is i don't know i have no other clue but we're going to see if we can't get our screen to work again because i restarted it and see if it works actually we're gonna do this first all right y'all so otherwise hashtag where no not hashtag where are you guys from i have a couple from uk georgia virginia what other states are in the house this evening while i struggle to try and get this software to start back up you know how it goes let's see oh that's why it says it's paused oh i didn't know that so let's look on oh we don't want that don't want to see my face in there it's saying it's paused that's why it wasn't showing up and i don't know why I don't know how to make it unpause. Y'all, I'm learning this stuff. Let's see. I don't know what I did to pause it. So, all right, now. Buffalo. Oh my gosh, Illinois, Indiana. I'm sorry, I asked a question and then left. Just looked at Stitch Viewer Pro reviews were not so good. It seems there are quite a few people who had problems with the program. Let me see which Stitch Pro. Yeah, and that's because you couldn't use it for ever so. Thank you, Eartha Lewis. You see what I'm saying? Y'all are some smart folks in here. I had never heard of Eversown. Eversown is the name of that embroidery machine. I had never heard of it. And when I went to go look at it, it wasn't there. She was like, they're not going to carry it anymore. These people carried um, Barodan, I believe was the name of it, of the embroidery machine. And they said they're not going to carry the Everson anymore. So they only had one machine left and it was a little sewing machine. I said, well, that's not helping me any because I wanted to see how you would send the embroidery design from the phone and the Wi-Fi capabilities of the machine because that's actually pretty darn cool to be able to have Wi-Fi built into the machine. Now, I think some of the uh, larger embroidery machines have it built in as well. Um, Dawn from Texas here, did you have to select a certain file from your phone to get to your design? Um, no, what I went to was my downloads folder in my phone. So I, just like on your computer, there is a file folder on your phone where your files are downloaded to. So anytime you download something from off the internet, that's where that file would go. So you would have to find out where that file is. And because I have a Samsung, um, it lets me see where my folders are and all of my folders actually. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then you can um, look at where all of your files are downloaded to. So pictures, um, documents that you might have downloaded because I have Adobe files. Sometimes I'll download to my phone. They All of that goes to the downloads folder. So that's where I went to go see where the... Um, that's where I go to see where I can look at those. So let's see if this is going to work now. I don't know why this is going to act right. Nope, I don't want to do that. I'm fighting with this again because I am quite curious to see. I think it worked. Okay. Is it going to work for me now? I don't know. All right, back to you guys. Sorry. Let you know. I'm in Florida, so let me know when you're coming. Are you talking about for the um, cruise, Janet McKinney? If so, I definitely will. Because <laughs> we're coming down early for the retreat in Florida. So really excited. Aisha, is there any way they can change the metric from millimeters to, uh, to inches? 
With that particular program, the embroidery viewer, no. They did not give that as an option, which was pretty tragic in my opinion because I prefer inches in most instances. Um, now, fortunately, with that particular design that I was just showing, the black diamond, I needed millimeters because I needed to make sure that it wasn't over 60 millimeters. But other than that, I don't really use millimeters because that design was for a hat. And I know that's the biggest design I can put on a hat in millimeters is 60. Um, but generally, I don't use millimeters either. So for it to not be able to do that, that kind of sucks. Uh, so sweet monogramming is in the house. How are you? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. Thank you, ma'am. So Crafty says, sorry if you already already stated, are these apps available for iPhone? From what I read, the embroidery viewer was. The Stitch Pro, I heard was, but I don't know if that's, that one wasn't worth it. And I mean, let me rephrase that. It's worth it if you just want to look at an embroidery design for what it is. But if you're trying to actually um, edit it and use it or save it to your phone, it won't let you. And that's why I was like, this thing is kind of sucky. Let me see if this is going to change for us. It changed. Yay. Okay. I'm not going to touch this anymore. Okay. So the Stitch Pro, let's go ahead and show that one since I was able to get it to work. <laughs> All right, so Stitch Pro, this is the one that goes with the embroidery machine. All right, that I'm not familiar with the, um, what did she say, Eversone. All right, so you can look at patterns. As a matter of fact, it even has patterns built into the app, which was cool. You know, so it's got a pretty flower here or whatever the case may be. You can look at it. It shows the colors. Um, it's pretty cool because it also shows uh, the amount of stitches on here. Um, it shows the amount of stitches. It shows the size. It shows uh, the hoop and how many colors is in it. You know, pretty, pretty neat standard stuff. And then down here are the colors that are in the particular design. Okay, that that's all well and good. We appreciate that. They have floral, they have animal, they have frames. You can do totem, which was pretty neat designs. Um, then they also have sport, they have holidays, houseware, and scenery. Okay, that's cool. All right, my design. You can even pull up a design. And as you see, I actually made a design in here. All right, because I was like, let me see if I can make a design. And see, I, I made this one um where i typed it in and this is actually stitches it really is so i'm gonna zoom in so that you can see and as you see here there's the actual details of the stitches right Five thousand stitches worth of embroidery so i thought that was pretty neat okay that's information so when you want to create a design let's go back and click on text so it pulls up an actual hoop and lets you see what the hoop looks like okay you can type out words all right and then you can move it around in the hoop you know really cool i mean i thought okay that's that's nice and all and you can increase the size the distance um you can click on it and uh, increase the size with the dragging the borders of it, which is not what to act right right now to show you guys that. But and you also, which I thought now this part I thought was pretty cool when you touch the globe um, down here in the lower corner. All right, it pulls up the alternative letters. Okay, so for Spanish or for um, other things, you you have. And a plethora of stuff that you can create embroidery designs, right? Well, guess what? That's not doing us any good if I can't save. You hit save. Let's hit save up here with the little, um, with the little thing up there. And it says save the file. We can say, yeah, and it saved it. But how do I get it to my embroidery machine? All right. And I'll, if I can get to it without issue, I'll show you that what it pretty much did 
was just save a picture of what I created right here on this hoop. It didn't save the actual embroidery file. And I thought that was like irritating. I, I don't want a picture. I want the actual embroidery design. So in order to do the actual embroidery design, you have to click that. That's the sewing machine and it's telling it to send it to the embroidery machine. That's not helping me. <laughs> That's not helping me in the least little bit. So I was like, you know what? Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating all day, all night. So it, I mean, but look at how cool this is, right? So you can pick hoop sizes. Um, it'll let you preview Let me move that out the way. Clean up the embroidery area before processing, whatever you're talking junk. You have patterns, you have text, you have color, you have sequence where you can change the sequence and move the sequences around. It's a really nifty program. Excellent idea, but it's not doing me any good if I can't see it. If I can't send it, rather, to my embroidery machine, just like this other program that we looked at the embroidery viewer i can save the embroidery design to my computer but i can't create an embroidery design here so that was frustrating all right so we're going to scratch that one out for right now and now what we'll do is look at stitch viewer pro okay this one i had a ball with this program okay this is the one, that is the program that runs their embroidery machine. They show it using an iPad on Missouri Star. The machine doesn't have too many hoops. Well, that's interesting to know, Ms. Deborah. That explains why it doesn't work for us. But here, we're going to click on Stitch Viewer. And this one works. This one works. The 770 Kingsbury Crafts is a 5x7 machine. It's a five by seven machine and sewing Amazon. No, you're not intruding on the conversation in the least little bit. We do like to know when there are deals. Hello, Jalil. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Now stitch viewer is cool on this one. We can shrink by pinching the screen by pulling out two fingers on the screen. We're able to zoom in on the detail and take a look at it i thought that was pretty neat so it opens up with a design already on the screen as you see this is design one pes all right so we know this is already an embroidery design and if i wanted to use it i can email it to myself use it on the computer at that point and drag it to my embroidery machine so for right now what we're going to do is come up here and touch those three buttons okay and now what we want to look at is export design which is how you would save it to your phone you can print pdf which is really cool you can match colors you can change the fabric color which was pretty neat so we can change the background to that tragic pink oh my gosh that does not go with that bird at all so let's change our color back to a white all right and then you can show the hoop and here, when you click on show hoop, it's giving you all of these options of different hoops that you can choose uh, based on your machine, right? So that's pretty cool. And look at all the different hoops that it gives you to choose from, okay? So we'll go back up. And what we're going to do is choose the four by four. And that shows you that this is just barely too big for a four by four hoop. How cool is that? Otherwise you would not know if you're just looking at it itself, you know? So it, it's really cool that they give you these options to see the design in the actual hoop and the size that it will be, all right? So let's go up here and we did show hoop. And so let's now go down here Sorry, I'm going to show you by drawing down here to that button right there. So going here, look, it tells you the name of the design, the width, the height, how many stitches are in the design, 18,000. So this would be an $18 design. If you do a dollar per thousand, it's showing you the colors. Look at how many 
color stops we have 13 13 color stops my goodness gracious so you're going to be switching up a bunch of colors definitely with this particular design all right so this is a design that it pulls up now what we'll do is go right here to this folder and let's click that and now i can open up the design that i had open before again another dst matter of fact let's see if we can't pull up a different design um go and downloads let's see what else do i have nah i don't want to do that one and that's a pdf anyway so that's not gonna work um i got so many dang designs i guess that's not gonna work okay so we're gonna have to stick oh well we can do this the zips the zipper bag even though there's nothing on here but it will show us the information about it so this zipper bag is 5,000 stitches it's 18 different colors color stops um, and notice here this even pulled up the vp3 so it will pull up other uh, design file extensions and save other design file extensions so that's really, really cool. And I'm trying to get back to where I was earlier with this particular program. Export design here is where you can choose the file extension that you want. So even though with this one, I pulled it up as a DST file, which is Tajima, I can now save this as the PDF. Okay, so if I wanted to, I'm sorry, PES rather, which is up here up top, or I come down, I can do happy if I wanted to, and look, I can either share it or I can save it to my drive, whatever you want to do with this particular file now. So I thought that was pretty neat. It's again, a no frills, not much to it. You can save it to your computer. And I sat here and played with this thing um, earlier today and had a good time, actually. And you can even print the PDF where it breaks down all the different steps to it uh, to help you determine what you need to do and, or share this with your customer, right? So you can actually share a copy with your customer and let them know what stitches are involved and all of that jazz. So again, just technology that is available to us and if there's a way i could figure this particular one out and get it to where you can save it and use it to create your own little designs with text and a couple of the patterns that they have on here that would be really neat but otherwise this one really isn't beneficial for us so going back to what we have we have stitch viewer pro and embroidery viewer this one is free embroidery viewer is a free file stitch viewer pro was five dollars so this one was five dollars embroidery viewer was free stitch viewer pro allowed us to save in other formats whereas embroidery viewer if I'm remembering correctly, it did not. Let's double check to make sure I'm not telling a fib. So we'll open this one back up again. And we'll go here, open file. So no, we're not able to save anything with this one. All we're doing is just looking at it, checking the information on it, and that's it. So this one is just a viewer you really aren't able to do much with it. Whereas Stitch Viewer Pro, you're at least able to look at it and save it in a different format if you need to. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, you guys. What do you think? Which one seems to be the most helpful for you? Which one do you think would be beneficial for you? I thought those were pretty neat options. I had never seen those before. Um, I thought it was pretty cool because a lot of times uh, I get, I hear a lot of complaints from folks and they're like, we want to be able to see the thumbnails of our embroidery designs on our computer and can't see them or 
we want to be able to edit and add pictures and text under pictures. And I'm like, okay, that's so what pro or in the instance of looking at icons that's so icons, but if they're not aware of those programs and they don't know. So that's why I'm like, okay, well, uh, Alexis brought out a good point that if there's software out there, why not let you guys know that it is available so that, if that's something you're interested in taking advantage of, you definitely can, right? So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Again, uh, Stitch Viewer Pro is not free. They do have a, a, um, a limited version where you can still see the design, but it's got like lines through it that it won't let you look at it without anything across it. It won't let you change the fabric color. It won't let you save designs if I'm remembering correctly. So they do have a like a trial version where you can just see kind of how it works. But a lot of the stuff that I wanted to see if it would work wouldn't work because I didn't have the full version. So it's no point really in downloading that version of it. Just go ahead and download the $5 version if that's the one you choose to go with. Otherwise, Embroidery Viewer was an excellent embroidery little file thing where if you just need to look at files and get the basic information off of it, that's a great free choice to go with. All right. So yas, definitely check those out. Um, Justin says, can you design on the app? The one that you could design on, there's not a way to save it. There's not a way to save it. The only way that particular program works is to export to their particular brand of embroidery machines. So if you don't have their embroidery machines, then it's no point in having that program, right? So hello, Miss Joanne. Hello, Miss Bickham. How are you? <laughs> Eddie Jr. Hey, Eddie Jr. How are you? Going back to you guys. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch that with me and all that interesting work learning how to stream my cell phone screen that was pretty cool y'all i gotta pat myself on the back for that one Ooh, go eve go eve because <laughs> when i tell you sometimes learning new stuff and trying to figure out some of that stuff is crazy it's crazy it's crazy uh aisha says the viewer might work for you sweet let me know if you use it and if you like it carol coleman says she likes them too that's what's up Marilyn says Stitch Viewer looks really good. It was. It was pretty straightforward. And as Jaleel, uh, Afro-Columbian brought out for $5, it seems pretty cool. And it was. That's a minimal investment, especially for you to be able to change embroidery formats on the fly. That's good. That's actually really good. So say, for instance, I get an embroidery design. What I typically do is the flat build or the structured hats. I don't embroider those here anymore because those things are a headache. I'm not going to lie to you. The Brother Embroidery Machine, even this multi-needle, is really not made for those structured or the flat build hats. So I uh, sourced that out to a local embroiderer and they use DST files. So if I have the file that I want on a hat and it's PES, I got to get them the DST version. And if I'm not at home and trying to make this decision, I need to be able to change the file so I can change it on my phone and shoot them the file in an email and I'm done. I love that. I love that because they're not going to change the file uh, there at the place. I don't know why they don't do it, but they don't. They're like, no, we need the file. Okay, well, now I have a way to do it by phone if I need to. So that is pretty cool. Um, Patty O says the Stitch Viewer. Yas, that seems to be a good choice as well. Miss Carol Coleman, thank you very much for the super chat this evening. I always appreciate the donations. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you kindly, ma'am. You just don't know. You my, you my, my right hand sometimes and you don't even realize it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Miss Marilyn Ray says that she downloaded it to her phone and it works great. Sweet. I'm glad you are able to get it up and running already. It is. It was really simple to do. Now, that's one thing I can say for both of the two programs. Actually, all three were easy to download and use, but the um, one program, you just jump right in, download it, and start pulling up files. The other one, you got to maneuver around a little bit in the menu and figure out your way, but for the most part, it's, for the most part, it's pretty clear cut. 
in that little menu that pops up on the right hand side so that's pretty cool um just so boutique by nina says you purchased the stitch bureau pro thank you you're welcome i'm glad it is going to work for you as well so sweet monogram it says i'm going to play around with these over the next few days definitely do let me know in the comments later what you think if you've been using it for a few days and you want to you know weigh in on how well it worked or didn't work if you agree with the review i had or not let me know i'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments all right charlene mitchell says good evening to everyone hello hello how are you <laughs> um miss bickham says she missed i missed you too I sure did. As a matter of fact, I started to text you yesterday. So I'm going to have to text you tonight what I wanted to send you a message for. So Sweet Monogramming says, do you think these are user friendly if we're not familiar with digitizing? The cool thing about both of those uh, programs, they have nothing to do with digitizing whatsoever. You can't change anything with the files um the only thing it is is basic straight information with both of those um apps okay so the one app that you could have used to make some little changes like enlarge or shrink parts of the embroidery or add text to it or add pictures and the text or whatever the case may be that's still technically not digitizing um digitizing is going to be kind of Mm, rough to do on a cell phone i don't think you'll be able to get away with anything any type app that tells you you can digitize with embroidery i would run from it i really would personally because in my experience of digitizing there's a whole heck of a lot more involved in it than just little simple touch this and do that and do this now so art is a very simple straightforward digitizing program uh, I've seen it work myself and then uh, Clever Dog Designs here on YouTube. She does excellent, excellent work with digitizing with so Art as well. And it's just a simple little program, 70, $75 for the program. Whereas a lot of these other programs are in the thousands, right? I know Wilcom Hatch, what I bought at the time, $1,200 for that particular program. Now, I will say this, if you are interested in a, like doing a tablet and digitizing with a tablet with a pen, Wilcom Hatch definitely has an option where you can use a tablet and be able to um, use a pen to digitize with. And I've seen uh, several folks talk about that that's the best way for them. I don't draw very well, so I haven't used a pen with embroidery digitizing yet. <laughs> because i'm afraid of what it would look like if i did i probably should give it a try i don't know why i wouldn't but um i'll let you know more about it but with these apps these have nothing absolutely not a thing to do with digitizing so you should be able to use them really well thank you justin i appreciate it so sweet monogram it says way to go on the screen yeah i know girl that was rough <laughs> i was like oh no what did i do Ronnie's rap says, never mind, I answered it myself. Yes, you can pull from other parts of the gallery. I apologize. I did not see your question. I don't see it at all on my screen, my dear. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Do you think a file that is anywhere in the gallery of your Samsung can be accessed in that app? Yes. Yes, you should be able to. As long as you know where your file is, you should be able to get to it with that app because it does go into the file hierarchy so that's pretty cool debbie says you go e thank you for all the tips you're welcome i appreciate you guys and your patience with me especially with the little snafu i'm proud that we didn't have but one little lag spike that i know of tonight it was just a brief little lag so thank you you guys for that um, and always appreciate your patience when y'all are in here and I'm trying to fool with technology, right? DTF823E, you're awesome and amazing. Thank you. I learn something new every week. Thank you for your time and talent. You're welcome. You're welcome. Joanne, I am so sorry, my love. That was a lot of information tonight. It really was. And definitely something you may want to go back and review because it was pretty cool. The, the apps that you can use to look at embroidery designs. Now, before I get to 
where I can log out for the evening. I want to be sure I don't miss any new babies tonight. All right. So we got Tinkle Bell right here, just ready to ring. If anybody you know has received a new baby, please let me know so that we can definitely get the bell ring for you tonight because I have a new baby. I have a big new baby, but I'm not ringing the bell for it until I get all of the stuff that goes with it, right? So I have most of the stuff, but there's some other stuff I want to go with it too. So I'm not going to ring the bell for myself just yet. <laughs> but if anybody else has a, um, decide they want to let me know they got a new baby, please let me know. Miss Viola, there's more than one way um down beside the chat there's a dollar sign if you wanted to do a super chat as what miss carol coleman did or if you wanted to send directly through paypal there is a link in the description below for the baby's booty that's my paypal if you would like to do a donation there so thank you i appreciate you asking about doing that because we definitely pour everything that comes in right back into this channel <laughs> much to my honey's chagrin i'm trying to tell y'all he'd be like oh my god yeah aisha graham do you have to unzip the files yes you will have to unzip the files now on my samsung um note 9 there is a way to unzip the file so yes you can unzip on your cell phone ask me to go through them steps don't know how much help i'll be i probably can mirror the screen and do it again real quick i don't know um, I'm gonna be fumbling if I do, I ain't gonna lie, because it's like every time I have to go unzip, it's like I ain't never done it before. So, uh, but yes, you can't, you do have to unzip the file in order to pull it up and look at it on the, um, apps. Okay. Uh, Eve Papa said that he is blinging it up. That's funny. Bling it up what? I know bling ain't going on that truck. <laughs> That's what I want to see, some bling on the side of that truck. Uh, Joanne did your thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate you giving this video a like. That is definitely appreciated. And Miss Carol Coleman, thank you. I appreciate you letting me know that. Uh, River City Creation Creative says, I'm learning PE Design 10. That's awesome. PE Design 10, I, from what I hear, is an excellent program. Not sure how much it is, though. And Justin, he is. Yes, very much so. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Kingsbury Crafts just start ringing. Ha ha, not gonna, <laughs> we gotta have a baby to ring for. We gotta have a baby to ring for. Um, yes, but I do have a, um, new baby. I do, it's a big baby too. So I'm excited about that. It's not an embroidery machine, but it's still a big baby. All right. So let's see real quick if I can show you how to, um, yep, my phone is still mirrored from what I see. And we'll see if we can't, um, or did it pause? It looked like it paused again. Oh, nope, there it is. All right. So, y'all, we are going into the bowels of my phone. So I pull up Samsung, and then here are my files. And then we'll go into download. So you'll see tons of things that I've downloaded. And let me see if I have a zip file in here. Okay. So here's one that says DIY patch design and files zip. Okay. So I've selected that. And as you see down here at the very bottom, let me get that to go away. As you can see down here, I'm going to draw a line to where you're going to look is down here. It says extract. And that's where you want to click extract. And now the file is extracted. So if you asked about whether or not you have to unzip it, yes, you do. And that is how you can do it. Now, these are in uh, ZHS file format. Let's see if we can pull that up now with that app because I'm not even familiar with ZHS, okay? So let's use Stitch Viewer Pro because that one had the most uh, embroidery file formats 
and see if we can't pull that up. So back to download. And here is the DIY patch and design folder that we just unzipped. Okay, so now it's a regular folder up here. So we'll click that and then click it again. And these are the ZHS files. So let's see this first one. And whoop, look at there. ZHS design format is not supported. All right. So these folks have their own stuff for their own um their own program. So let's go back into this one. The one that was made for that program. What's the name of it? Stitch Pro. So let's go back into Stitch Pro and see if we can't pull it up. All right. So we'll go to patterns and we'll go to my design. And as you see, here's the design that I just did, the POP, um, which I did not want to do that. I don't know why I did that. Oh, we'll go to all designs. No, nope, that ain't it either. Okay, so we got to figure out how to open up that design. So you guys are going to have to bear with me on that to see if it'll pull it up. That's the trash can. Do we want to throw it away? We don't want to throw it away. Nope, look, it looks like it's not even letting us pull up the design that we just downloaded. Isn't that a fool? Um, nope. It sure isn't. So, no, I don't even see. Do you see where you can open up a design? I don't. And that kind of sucks. If you download a design, you should be able to open it. And I don't see that anywhere, y'all. So that's kind of not cool. Another strike against these folks. So what good is the app if I'm going to be able to download programs that are made for this app? I'm not download programs, download patterns that are made for this app, but I download it to my phone for the app and the app won't open it. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to y'all, but it darn sure don't make sense to me. So I guess uh, we're not going to be able to look at files that are opened with Stitch Pro, which is fine by me. Um, Embroidery Viewer or the other Stitch Viewer Pro is the better choice for looking at embroidery designs. But all in all, that's how you unzip a file on your phone. How easy was that? Well, with the Samsung, that is. <laughs> but from what I understand, Android is the same across the board. Alrighty. Um, and as DTF823 mentioned, there is an unzip app as well. I don't use one. I, that was built into the file hierarchy on my Samsung phone. Um, Teresa Spencer says she got a new iron for the cricket. A new iron for the cricket? Are you talking about the easy press, Teresa? Or are you talking about the really cool foil pen? That's something that I've been considering looking at. Don't tell Mr. Byron. <laughs> Sewing says this app will be helpful when I'm at my machine making color changes so I don't have to bring my laptop or print it out. That's a good idea. Excellent point. You should be able to use it for that. And it looks like with the um, Stitch Viewer Pro, you can even swap colors. So that's pretty cool because you can change colors out from what I saw. I didn't try it, uh, but looks like you can. Bickup says this all sounds intriguing, so I will definitely watch this as soon as we log off. Awesome. That's going to be cool. Let me know how you like the app. Eddie Jr. says, great apps will need to get one. Let me know if it works for you. Bickham says, am I the only one with low volume? I'm maxed out. Yeah, it's a little bit low. I didn't want it to go too loud, so I turned it down. Um, and don't know how I turned it down, so I'm going to have to turn it back up. But that was a fight for another day. I was so busy trying to figure out how to mirror that screen so I could show y'all those apps because I thought that was pretty exciting. Um, so definitely want to 
get you guys in on that and the volume we'll have to wait till next week <laughs> but i'll get it turned back up i'm ah, sorry <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry all righty you guys so i have thoroughly enjoyed each and every one of y'all this evening it is always a pleasure to have you here watching at the baby's booty channel we uh definitely like bringing you new and innovative things to try out in your embroidery studio why not we don't want to stick with the same old boring stuff we want to do cool stuff too so that's part of the reason why uh once miss alexis pointed that out i was like you know what i think that's something that would be cool to showcase on the channel tonight so i'm glad she um gave that tip and again if you are on facebook please check her out her page is awesome alexis if you're still in here um please put the link the name to your facebook page i would really appreciate it um and it's so so sweet so sweet creative so sweet and i'm this dumb i should have known that before i even came in here my bad matter of fact I'm going to look it up just in case you're not here and I can tell folks what the Facebook. Oh, you did. Aisha, thank you. I appreciate you joining. It's so sweet Sundays that she does. And I missed it today because I was too busy trying to fight with this darn thing. Aisha says it's so sweet to learn. Thank you, Alexis. So sweet monogramming is also Miss Alexis is so sweet to learn. Join her page. She is awesome. She shares tips and stuff on her page as well. She's on Facebook, a fellow embroiderer, and her mom is super awesome. And her daughter is awesome too, Miss, uh, oh my God. I just had the baby's name and I just went, don't tell the baby's name in the chat though. It's, it's okay. We don't want her name in the chat until she gets her own YouTube channel. But when she gets her own YouTube channel, she gonna have a code name. I meant to tell you that too. So anyways, the baby has potential y'all she's doing videos already on the pe770 machine tell me that ain't bombdiggity.com so please go follow her channel she is awesome as well and again please you she didn't put it in there anyway <laughs> my bad yeah no i ain't want the baby's name on it um please you guys please 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 share the cruise all right Please spread that news, please. And I'm the only reason why I'm saying it like this is because we need to show up and show out. Now we have quite a bit of folks that's done put down their deposit and reserve their rooms. And I am astounded at how many folks it is. But we do definitely need to fill up these classes and make sure that there's interest in those classes. And I have to send a list to Carnival of the classes and the class schedules, all right? So again, please share the information about the cruise with your friends who are crafty as well and tell them, go ahead. It's a $25 deposit right now till May the 4th. That will go up after May 4th. It will not be the same price after May 4th. I promise you it's not. So if you don't already have your cruise booked, after May 4th, it's going to go up and it won't be as inexpensive as it is now. So definitely um, do that. Let me um, go on here and put in, it is www.customcraftcruise.com. Customcraftcruise.com. Okay. So please go check that out. Share that link with the folks that you are near and dear to who you think would enjoy crafting and cruising with us. Or if it's somebody that just wants to go on a cruise, because I will tell you, this a 3,000 person ship. We don't have 3,000 cabins reserved yet. So there's going to be a ton of other people on the ship as well. So it's not like we're going to be the only ones on the ship, irregardless. So even if there's someone who is not a crafter and they may be interested in cruising, tell them to join on the cruise as well. And they can have a good time uh, with doing some of the other stuff that's going to be on the cruise because there will be short excursion packages available. Uh, we will be stopping at an island, a private island to carnival 
that's going to be a lot of fun there will be port stops at bahamas so that you can do a land excursion to the bahamas so there's more than just crafting but the crafting is going to be the highlight and for those who are registered through custom craft cruises um and sign up with my uh booking agent those are the only people that's going to be able to participate in any of the classes and any of the crafting activities all right so keep that in mind please definitely spread the word because we want all the folks to join and have fun i mean two three people we can party now we we can party i'll i'll have a humdinger of a party with me and two other people i ain't gonna lie to you heck i can party well by myself i ain't gonna lie my honey knows but <laughs> it'll be even more fun to have all of you guys there and i would be excited to meet you all that is actually the biggest part of the exciting thing for me is meeting each and every one of you so i am looking forward to that all right except for chris miss chris sorry next time though next time <laughs> All right, you guys. So again, thank you for joining me this evening. I look forward to seeing each one of you in the hoop group, sharing pictures of your projects and whatnot. You can also follow me at, at the baby's booty on social media. I am out there online sharing stuff there as well. But until the next time we see you, we want you to have happy embroidering. All right. So next time until next week, same bat play, same bat channel, or however that saying went. I look forward to seeing you again 8 p.m. next Sunday. You guys have a great night. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.